Hey YouTube, it's your girl Danny B. Um, and like I said, this is my information video in regarding my Bobby Boss Indie Remy Natural Yaki um, sewing. So, uh, first things first about the hair. Um, it's 18 inches, 16 inches, and 14 inches. Full packs of each one. Um, and the hair ran me the 18 inches about uh 122 um the 16 inches was um a hundred so it's like 99 dollars and then the 14 inches was 89 and i got it at my local beauty supply store um let's see what else it's a color 1b and now i'm going to show you guys uh what i left out again and then I'm going to tell you why. Okay. This right here is everything I left out. And I left out that much of my hair because um, the look that inspired me was the Kardashians. And they, their parts are always so far back. And when, usually when people get um, extensions put in or sewings or whatnot, they try to leave out as, as little as possible. And I used to do the same thing also. But for this look, I wanted something different. I wanted my parts to be very, very, very versatile. So I left, I went all the way back here and left out all of this hair. And then I left out enough so I can have a part on either side. Um, and there's pictures of that, but I can also show you too. And um, let's see. My, my sewing pattern, um, you guys can see that in, other, in the previous video. See? Now, I used a net, um, a weaving net. Now, the last time I used a weaving cap, there's a big difference between those two things. First of all, a weaving cap is almost like a wig cap or something. Um, and it has a band that goes around it and it's, the material is almost stocking-like. Now, the weaving net is usually what they use at salons to do your hair. Um, and it comes like this. And it's actually enough for, to do Two heads with. Now what I did, um, I bought two of them just in case because it's hard for me to find these things anywhere. But what I did was I cut it in half so it's about this big. And a lot of people, some people don't like using these because how hard it is. What I did, I went on ahead and I washed it before I put it on my head so it would be more manageable. And I also have pictures of that in the previous video. But I just washed it with some regular mayonnaise shampoo and I also put conditioner in it because you you, and you want to rinse the shampoo out really good because if you leave the shampoo in the weaving net um, and it dries, it could cause um, your scalp to be itchier than usual. So that's the last thing I wanted. So yeah, I washed it, let it dry. It was very, very manageable. I just sewed it on and that had a lot, that helped a lot because as thick as my hair is, there were, when I'm was sewn in the tracks or whatever, there were some areas where I was grateful I had the weaving net or else I would have to skip over that part. And I did my tracks very close together. I'm gonna to show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see like the tracks, but I did them very close together. Cause like I said, I had to fit three packs of hair on my head. Even though I got a big head and they weren't gonna fit anyway, but still. And with this hair, how I, what I put on my hair, my own hair to help blend it, I put some Made Into Herbal Grow, which is a grease. And also, if I don't want it to feel like that heavy or whatever, I'll put a little Cantu Shea Butter. And it just gives my hair a little extra shine. The flat iron I use is my ceramic Paldium by Gibri de Paris. And I use either a paddle brush or a wire tooth comb on this hair. But actually, usually I just do it with my fingers because this hair, I mean, 
that's just how silky it is. I can just comb it through with my fingers. On my hair, while I braided it up in the beehive, what I put on it is the Main and Tail Herbal Girl, and I also put the hair straightener. I mean the hair strengthener on my natural hair. What I use on my edges is called uh, Straight Edge Pomade, and it's by Weave Aid. And you can only get it online, or well, unless you live on the East Coast. I believe they have stores out that way, but I had to order mine. Um, and for this four ounces, it was like seven, eight dollars. Um, it lasted me a long time. It's clear. It almost works like jam, but it holds a lot better, and it doesn't. It doesn't set shiny, you know. So like when it when it dries and it's supposed to, it's it's um. You can't even tell you have anything on your hair. So it doesn't set shiny or hard. It just lays your edges down real good. And I'm not relaxed. So if this stuff can work for my hair and just lay it down slick, then it could do wonders for someone who hair is relaxed. Let's see, what else? To wrap my hair while I'm sleeping, what I do is... First, I take my hair... I make sure that the top part is slid down. I'll put it in a ponytail. Then I will take my stocking cap thingy with the long tails on it. <laughs> and then I'll put it over it like this. Take these two from the back. Wrap it around there, because right now I'm doing this for the edges. Wrap it around the front. Tie it in the back. Then, I take the ponytail, slide it down. Put the rest of the hair in the bonnet and then pull it up. This is a lot of hair back here in this bonnet, but that's how I sleep. Um, it's very comfortable. The first night was a little uh, kind of difficult because then um, I just did last night, so my braids are still tight. Then when I wake up, take that down, take out the ponytail, do that, I'll do that. Shake my hair out. And then I'm ready to go. Uh, tangling with this hair. I do believe that the longer the hair is, the, not the more it's gonna tangle, but the more noticeable, I guess, like, um, because it's longer, so it's more hair, you know? But it does not tangle bad. It does not map for anything, like, unless you just, I don't know if someone's ever experienced matting with the hair. I don't know how they cared for this hair. But this hair is very rare that it mats. I've never heard of anyone's matting, and mine's never matted. It will get tangles in it, um, just like your real hair will get tangles in it. I mean, this hair is not, you know, made from heaven and just perfect, you know. But, I mean, it's just normal. And it shares the same the about the same if not less than your real hair was shed so you shed in your own hair you put this in you're still gonna have shedding okay um it does not shed a lot let me see okay i'm not getting anything yeah it does not shed a lot the one thing you gotta do is just try to keep your hands out of it as far as putting product on the actual hair um, I'm not going to do that. Why? Because you don't need to do that. This hair does not need any product at all. When I wash it, I'm going to I'm going to either use my Main and Tail shampoo and conditioner or I'm going to buy the Garnier uh, Sleek and Shine to keep the shininess and all that stuff to the hair. Um, the sides, I did not leave out a lot. I don't know if I did the ponytail before but I can't 
have a ponytail. It's a very long ponytail. Still cute nonetheless. And I think that's it for now. Uh, I can't think of anything else. I used um, the full packs of each one. I didn't do half anything. This is the only thing I had left over from the 14 inches and I was still in the morning waking up thinking like how am I going to try to sneak this in my hair. But I don't know. I guess, you know, this is all I had left over so I guess I'll leave it at that. But yeah, so if you guys have any more questions, anything I forgot to address, uh, let me know. When I wash this hair, I'm going to do a tutorial on that separately because um, that is an important step. And okay, I believe that's it. Again, I'll show you guys the hair. It has a lot of body to it. And oh yeah, last thing, word of advice. Whether you're doing well, I mean if you're doing your own hair, it might not uh you might not need to, but if you're gonna get your hair done at a shop or where someone else is gonna be braiding your hair and stuff like that, you might wanna take uh mochin or a Tylenol or something for headaches because it will help out a lot, especially if you're tender headed. So what I always do is um before I start braiding my beehive, I'll take um a motrin and then before I go to sleep, I'll take another one just to help me sleep because the hair is still tight and laying on it. Um, it might be uncomfortable for some people. So if you guys are okay with taking um, Motrin and Tylenol or anything for headaches, I recommend you guys do that before you get your hair braided, especially if you had a week before and you know um, the kind of discomfort you're going to go through or for anyone who's tender headed um, and is going to get a weave for the first time because um, people braid pretty tight so and again that's the one thing you gotta look out for people who braid too tight because if your hair is too tight and it starts irritating your scalp and you just can't have it in that's gonna be a waste of money because the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take that hair out without thinking twice just to relieve your scalp so that's another fact that you guys should keep in mind that's it guys talk to you later bye